In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this simple task list in Google Sheets. And some of the features of this sheet are when I click to complete a task, it will automatically highlight that task and cross it out as being completed, as well as in the top left-hand corner, it is going to calculate the percentage of tasks completed. This is gonna be a really powerful tool for anyone looking to track their tasks. So let's get after it. Okay, welcome back. And we are starting off with a completely blank spreadsheet. And I'm going to show you how to go through and make that task list from scratch. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is I actually have to trim this sheet down. Cause if you remember from the intro video, the task list that we are gonna create is actually only two columns. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just select column C, hold down control shift and hit the right arrow. And that is actually gonna highlight all of the columns that are available. And I'm just going to right click here and click um, down to delete column C to Z. And it's going to leave me with two columns only. One of the cool things about Google Spreadsheets as opposed to Excel is that when you delete columns, it takes them right out of your sheet and you are just left with the only two columns that you are going to be using. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just resize this B column. So what I can do here is right click on the top of it, hit resize column, and I already know that I'm gonna want it around 500 pixels, so I'm gonna hit okay, and it's just gonna give me this long area here. So now it's just a matter of setting up this spreadsheet. So if you remember from the intro video, we had a box that said completed and tasks, and all I'm going to do to signify that these are titles is just take these and I'm going to fill them with a black color, change the text to white, and then bold them by hitting Control B, and then I'll just change the text so that it's in the middle, and I think that looks a little bit better. And then what I want to do is add some check boxes. So I'm going to select from A3, let's go all the way down to A25, and I can go to Insert, and click on checkbox, and that's gonna give me some checkboxes. Now for the purposes of this project, I'm just going to delete all of the rows that I'm not using. So I'll start at A26 or row 26, hold control shift, down arrow, and we'll select all of the rows. And the same way that we did with the columns, I'm gonna right click and delete rows 26 to 1000. And it's a good, practice to get into is deleting all of the rows and columns that you're not using because it'll help speed up your spreadsheets. And then now it's just a matter of typing in some tasks. So I might wanna type in task one, task two, task three, and I'll just drag these down to highlight all of the different cells. And I like to personally put my tasks in the middle of the cell. So what I can do is highlight all of these tasks and just um, center align them and now what I want to have happen is when I click the spreadsheet or uh, these checkboxes I want it to highlight the task and um, show it as completed by giving it a different color versus um, and, and crossing it out versus just leaving it blank so if you'll notice on a checkbox if I just click into any of these cells what the value of it is right now is false, and if I click it um, selected, it gives me the value of true. So we're gonna use this to our advantage with a conditional format. So what I'm gonna do is highlight all of these tasks, and I'm going to go to format, conditional formatting, and it's gonna open up this cell here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to choose format cells if, and I'm gonna use custom formula, and I'm going to choose um, A3, so I'm gonna say equals A3. So what this is saying right now is um, we're gonna apply this format in B3 if A3 is true, okay? So if you look, if I were to click off A3, it's gonna automatically highlight B3 because A3 now becomes true. But because we've done it on a range and left this A3 as an open reference without any dollar signs, if I were to click down to um, A4, 5, 6, 7, etc., all of those become highlighted as well, okay? So now it's just a matter of actually applying our format. So what I'm gonna do is choose the strike through, and I'm gonna give it like a lighter gray color because I think that that looks pretty cool. And as I select down, you can see now 
all of these cells that we've applied that format to, as I click to signify that those tasks, tasks have been completed, it's actually gonna highlight those and cross them out. Now the only last piece to make this a viable project is I'm just going to create a bar up in the top that calculates based on how many tasks we have and how many we've checked off what the percentage of tasks completed is. So what this formula looks like, we'll just do it in A1. I'm going to type um, equals and the first thing I want is to see how many of these are clicked off as true. So what I can use here is a formula called count if. So I'm going to type in count if open that up and it's gonna ask me for the range. In this case, we're gonna choose A3 and double dots all the way down to A. So it's gonna select this whole range. And then when I hit comma, it's gonna ask me what my criterion is. And if you remember, when this is checked off, it is called true. So I'm just gonna type in true here. When I close this off, what you'll see is as I start to click these off, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And to turn this into a percentage, what I need to do is divide that number by the actual amount of tasks that there are. So what I can do is go back into my formula and I'm gonna use the divide. And then the next thing I wanna do is count how many of these rows are not blank, meaning they contain a task. So the formula I can use for that is called count A. Um, count A. And then it says count the number of values in a data set. And when I open that up and select all of the cells where I would type in the tasks, or in this case, we'll go B3 all the way down to B and close that off. I'll hit enter and you're going to see it gives me a zero. But as I start to complete tasks, it gives me um, a decimal value of how many are completed. And if I were to select all of them, it's going to give me a value of one which if we were to convert this to a percentage by going onto the cell and then clicking the format as percent, it's giving me a value of 100%. And as I unclick other ones, you can see that um, the percentage is in fact changing. Now the last thing I had in my sheet was just the words completed here. And I had them formatted like that with um, bolded so that you could see what the percentage was completed. Maybe we want to put this in um, center justify and maybe bold that as well. So that's how you create a simple task list. Um, all we've used is some checkboxes, a little bit of conditional formatting, and a quick formula to calculate and count how many tasks there are and how many have been completed and then convert that to a percentage. I hope this video helps you out and if it does, please like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.